Yo, what it do, man? It's your boy LP, aka LPZ. And I uh, just want to do this video uh, right quick, man. Just want to encourage everybody. You know, this holiday season is here. You know what I mean? A lot of us, we're going to be seeing family. We're going to be seeing friends and this, that, and the third. However, this is what I want to deal with. I want to deal with the fact that, you know, let's focus on building bridges with our family members. A lot of us have family members, you know, we don't fool with like that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us going to see family members that we, you know, we don't really talk to. We don't really deal with them no more. You know what I'm saying? But look. A lot of the issues and the problems that you probably got with folks, you know, with, with some of your cousins or aunties, or uncles, I guarantee a lot of that stuff is petty. I'm talking about petty, petty, petty. Look, man, squash the beef, man. Squash that beef, man. Get it right. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, before you see them, you're probably going to see them Thanksgiving Day or whatever the case may be. But right now, I want to encourage you, you know, start praying and interceding for them. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and ask the Holy Spirit to help you because you probably got a cousin or aunt or something like that. Like your skin crawl when you see him. You know what I'm saying? Like your stomach turn when you see him. I want to encourage you to start praying for them right now. Start interceding for, for them, asking God to help them, asking God to bless them, asking God to, you know what I'm saying? You know, let God know all your frustrations that you have with them. You know what I'm saying? Tell God, you know, to go to God like, God, ah, man, I don't like the, I don't like him or I don't like her because blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? They hurt me. They disappointed me. They violated me. Whatever the case may be. Go to God. Let God know your beef. Let God know how you feel. From that point on, your anger will begin to turn turn into compassion. Once your anger begin to turn into compassion, from that point on, you you be you begin to feel sorry for them. And then when you see them, you don't got that, you know what I'm saying? Feeling it's like a dang, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they man, they tripping. That right there will motivate you to want to engage them, to you know, to want to deal with them, talk to them. You know what I'm saying? You know, y'all might have, y'all probably hadn't dealt with each other in a long time. Find some common, common ground, common interests that y'all have. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you know, y'all might got a common interest in sports. You know what I'm saying? Deal with, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? You know, with your favorite football team, your favorite college team. Talk some junk about your favorite, you know, professional team or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever it is you got to do to build those bridges. Look, man, we in the time right now, man. We all we got. You know what I'm saying? So we got to learn to embrace family. We got to learn to embrace each other, uh, help each other, encourage each other, teach each other, learn from each other, all that. Because at the end of the day, the family member that you probably got beef with, you know what I'm saying? God want to use them to get something to you. You know what I'm saying? As outlandish as, as it may sound, God may want to use them to get something to you. And if you are in unforgiveness and you're hurting and all this other stuff, you're not going to deal with them and you're not going to be able to get that breakthrough. On the other end, you got unforgiveness in your heart. That unforgiveness is going to cause the windows of heaven to shut up on you. Because as long as you are unforgiving, the scriptures say what, whatsoever thing you desire, when you pray, believe you receive and you shall have them. However, verse 24, uh, I mean, 25, that's Matthew, Ma uh, Mark 11, 24, verse 25 says, when you stand praying, forgive. So if you don't forgive when you praying, you can believe you receive and pray and all that ain't nothing finna shake for you. And that's just the reality of it. So anyway, saying all that to say, man, enjoy your folks, man. Find Look for an opportunity to be a blessing, you know what I'm saying, to your folks. You know what I'm saying? Your cousins, aunties, uncles. Give them a word of encouragement, a word of inspiration, something. You know what I'm saying? And I guarantee, man, it's going to be a blessed, blessed, blessed holiday for no other reason because you took the initiative to be the light of the world, the salt of the earth, a city on the hill that cannot be hid. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, man, God bless you. May God keep you. You know what I'm saying? And just holler at your boy. Cheer.